guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I wanted to um, show you a couple of things. And so the first thing is there's a new um, digi kit at um, my Etsy store and it's um, ferns. Y'all been waiting for ferns. So I got the um, digi kit finished and I printed some some of the pages out on some parchment paper so you can see what that looks like and um, and all, yeah and something else so I'll show you in just a second so like here's one one page and it's the it's a maiden hair fern specimen and just some black and white art that's over on this one you can probably see the difference in color this one is the ivory and this one's called copper I don't really think it's copper colored it's more of a <clears throat> pale peachy kind of a thing. I don't know. But it looks pretty on this one too. This one um, has, as you can see, more a richer color to it. And so if you wanted a, a, less, a less deep tone because you're going for a different kind of a look, then the ivory would be, would be decent. But this one is more the, uh, the color tone of um, tea stain paper you know as far as like darkness and lightness goes not necessarily color hue so here is a maidenhair fern and spleen wart and then there's also um, little quotes and poems and p pieces from books and um, so yeah so it's the fern specimens kit and there's some more there so I thought you would like that. There are 13 images. So there's 12 page spreads and they print out on eight and a half by 11 is, you know, at 300 DPI. That's how I usually um, have them set up. At the end of this video, however, I'm going to attach a, um, a tutorial on how to resize pages in, um, with free software that comes on your computer, okay? The 13, I did I did a baker's dozen. So the 13th image is the one that I printed out on the painter's uh, masking paper. And so this prints out um, in this direction, but like I said, you can, you know, you can flip it around and print it just on one side of a, you know, one of these sides. You can do what you want. But um, I like it, I don't know, I just thought this one was really cool, kind of big, and printed on that masking paper. I did find, if you can't find the masking paper at your, in your local stores, I did find um, the one I got at Amazon, and so I put it on my favorites page, and so the link will be down below in the description box. Okay, sorry guys, I've been, um, I'm sick and I the medication kind of makes me a little um, I like lose focus like I mean even quicker than normal. <laughs> I'm just real brain foggy so hopefully that'll go away in a couple of days there is also some new fern washi tape to print out and so there are four different designs and there's two sets of each so there is a catalog of ferns like book cover and then there's a green backed fern um, little specimen uh, conglomeration I guess and these are plates from a, bota a botanical book and then another and this is just a paler green a little fern pretty fern background I thought they turned out really great so down below um, the video, there will be um, links to the digi kit and the washi if you wanna see that. Um, there's gonna be a link to um, a video where Hallie did, um, she used these pages and she resized hers. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm coming up really soon because I have everything ready. Um, I just need to um, get it filmed is the screen printing. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. I think you guys are gonna enjoy that. So that's what's gonna be coming up next. If not today, then tomorrow. And um, I'll get that up and rock and rolling. Sorry, I have been um, missing in action. I just, you know, I have company and I don't feel good. 
All right, guys, you have a great rest of your weekend, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys. All right, let's resize some images. It's actually fairly simple, and you can do it with free software that comes with your computer, um, or you can download it. As far as Windows is concerned, you need to have Windows 10. If you do not have Windows 10, then you cannot get Paint 3D, which is what um, I'm using to resize images. I will do some more research and see what else you can use. There are um, free online um, software websites too. So, But I don't want to send you anywhere that isn't safe. But um, there's places that you can you can get pretty decent image editing software and you just use it online. Um, I'm sure all of you have heard of GIMP or Pixel or one of those. And you can resize images in there too. But let me just show you how to do it real quickly with Paint 3D. Um, if you have a Mac then you need to most likely um, either use um, preview, uh, which is you know what your pictures open up in, or paintbrush. So the preview, I know that if you open up an image in preview, I think you can go to tools and then adjust size, and then you'll be able to put in the um, pixel dimensions that I'm going to be showing here in a minute, just like I do in Paint 3D. So, you know, let's try it. So here is a zip file, if you see right here, and this is um, just one of the zip files from the Fern Kits. And I, it's just sitting here on my desktop. So you double click, and there are four images in this zip file. I'm just going to click and drag and select all of those and then click and drag and just pull them outside of the zip file. So here they are over here. I'll just move them. I'll move them over here so we can see them. Now, um, the pictures, the images will remain in the zip file. So if you want to like put these away for safekeeping, <laughs> you know, put them somewhere. You, I mean, you can always go back to Etsy and download them when you're logged into your account. But if you just want to go pop those somewhere, you can save them. And that way, if you wanted to resize these and you accidentally saved them as they were um, resized, then you still have the originals. So let's just pick one of these. I'll just pick this bottom one. I'm going to right click. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down up here where it says Edit with Paint 3D. You can also go down to Open with, and, which, and Paint 3D is also in there. But I'm just going to hit Edit with Paint 3D. And this is how it opens up. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the toolbar up here on top and you're going to click on Canvas. So um, easily we can resize in here. So let's just, let's pretend that you wanted to make maybe a traveler's notebook size book and you needed your pages to be nine inches wide instead of 11 inches wide. Um, well, we need to change the size of that. Now, it, it, it will compress um, the images a little bit, but you know, it doesn't bother me if, they, if they're a little squished, is that the word? Because they, I think most people wouldn't even notice it. Um, if it bothers you, I mean, I totally understand, but we're not going to get into Photoshop today. So <laughs> we're just going to do this easy cheesy. So we'll see. You can, you can make your own judgment call on that. How's that? Okay, so this is what we need to do. Um, over here on this right-hand side where it says Canvas, um, Show Canvas is on. We want that. Transparent Canvas is off, and that's just how it opens. You have your width and your height in your pixel measurements. You have this lock aspect ratio. Keep this box unchecked. If you check this box, you won't be able to change the size to skinnier or shorter or whatever. You want this one. You want to resize the image with the canvas. 
that's what you want. And then you have two choices. You have percent and you have pixels. Well, let's not get into percents. Let's just get pixels. Does that sound okay? And you're thinking, okay, well, what pixels do I need? So right now, the 8.5 by 11 um, 300 DPI image that is made to print out on just regular standard copy paper is 3,300 pixels in width, which is 11 inches, or um, and 2,550 pixels in height, which is eight and a half inches. So we wanted nine inches wide instead of this 3,300, right? So I'm going to link a, um, a little pixel calculator underneath the video and I pulled it up right here and this is what it looks like. And so what you need to do in here is make sure at the top of the page it says DPI and then choose inch. And then what we're going to do is, you know, you, you don't have to worry about like the whole page. We're just going to use this, this first little section right here. So let's say we want nine inches in length and we still want eight and a half inches high. Um, in resolution, DPI put 300 because that's what the image is. It's in 300 DPI. So then you just hit calculate and there it is. There is your size that we need to change it to, which is 2700 by 2550. Okay, so we will go back to Paint 3D. And the second one is already at 2550 because we're not changing the height, but we're going to be changing the width to 2700. That's what it was, right? So let's change that, change that out, and then just hit the Enter key. And there it goes. It just squished it up to be the size you need it to be um, to fit more into, um, you know, a traveler size notebook. Now it will print on a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, but you'll be able to trim it down and the image won't be cut off. Does that sound okay? So then what you do um, when you're happy with the size is you go um, over to menu and then you hit save as, and then right here it says choose a file format, hit image, and then it'll just ask you where you want it. So you can rename it, you know, F12 space TN. Um, you can leave it as the 2D JPEG because it's not a 3D rendering. So, and then you just hit save. And yeah, I'm not going to review you right now. Let me squish those down. So where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. So we're just going to right click and it opens up your option box again and go down to print. Now it's cut off top and bottom because we changed the aspect ratio. Do you see this little um, checkbox down here where it says fit picture to frame? Usually you want to keep that checked, um, but we're going to uncheck it. And do you see how it makes it back into that size that we had made in Paint 3D? Oh, let me show you another thing real quick. Let's grab one of the regular size images that um, comes, you know, as it is. Right click and hit print and leave the fit picture to frame checked. And what we can do is over here on the right hand side, if you have windows, I honestly don't know what it looks like in a Mac. I've never had a Mac. So maybe somebody can, you know, give us some insight on that. But do you see these different sizes that you can choose? And of course, these are for photographs. But look at the 5 by 7 You see how it flips it around and it, you know, makes it look smaller? Uh, kind of cute, right? Um, down here where it says copies of each picture, if you want um, an image here and then it to print another one here, you have to do um, the arrow up and hit 2. Um, in the parentheses, besides each side, you'll see how many images um, it will hold. And you don't have to do, um, you know, like on this one, you don't have to do nine. Maybe you only want six. So just put six copies of each down here. So anyway, um, I thought that might be helpful and might be fun if you're making like a really small book and you wanted little, little pages to go in your books. But anyway, we are going to uncheck that 
and then you can just hit print um, whatever kind of options you like to use I used up here plain paper but high quality um, it does say custom but you know I'm gonna just put that back on you know regular paper and there is my there's my printer and so that is that it, pretty easy I still think it looks pretty stinking good for um, for being a little squished up so um, maybe it won't bother you either this like I said this is just quick and dirty in case you know you wanted to shorten something up or make something smaller so so I hope you uh, find this useful and I will be back really soon have a great day I will catch you in the next video